Okay, so I'm going to grab my flathead screwdriver. Okay, and I'm going to take the spring off here. Okay, like so. Next thing we'll be doing is peeling back the seal to the left and side, like so. Okay, I'll be putting my hand in here. See these little tabs here? You're pushing one in at a time, all the while pulling the lock to your, uh, to your left. Okay, this one got in, and you just push this one in as well, okay? That's two, and there you go, okay? There you have it, there's your lock out. What we'll be doing next is releasing it from this little uh, bracket that's holding in the wires in place. So just open up the little tabs there, okay? Now and get this one open, okay, like so. It should be in our own top, which there is. We'll just take that off there, okay. There we go, okay. Now, what we'll be doing is taking those wires out, like so, okay. And you'd see the, the wires going here in here to your lock. Just, just just take out your um, the plug that goes into your lock, okay, like so, okay. Next thing, what we'll be doing is grabbing our new door lock. Okay, just here. Okay, plug that back in. Like so. Okay. Back on your bracket again if you if you so wish. No harm in doing so, is there? So we'll take this bracket off and we'll put this back on here, okay? Like so. Put your wiring back into your into its wire loom holder here. Clicking in the clips all the while. Okay, just do the last one up here. Now, we're putting our door lock back in, in here into the frame again, like so. And see see the, the square piece here? We'll be sliding the left hand side in first, like so. And the right hand side, push it in, home, and put your two tabs into the holes, like so. Okay, next thing what we'll be doing is we will be Putting our seal back over the, the metal rim here, okay? Okay, you see, you just, you just peel it back on over, okay? One piece, there we go. A little bit on this side as well, came off. Okay, and the last thing we'll be doing is putting back on our metal spring again. Okay. The last few bits here, just sticking out. There we go. Okay. Perfect. So we'll be putting back on our metal spring again. So sometimes to do that, you see the spring here that goes at the bottom here, okay? So put it on over the top first and we'll be prising it on with our flathead screwdriver. So just do that there now. Okay. So, there we go. I'm going to get most of it by hand actually, which is even better again. Okay. Just the last bit over the corner here, okay? That's that, I know, okay? So next thing what I'll be doing is I'll be closing the door and trying our, our new lock, okay? Doors closed. Let's put it out. We'll say on a. I'll just plug in the machine first, and then we we'll try it on a spin. Yeah, put the machine plugged in. We'll be trying that now on a spin cycle. We'll say. So we we'll go to down to cottons. We'll go down to spin here, drain and spin, and let's press your start. Was your click, which it did. Pump should start running, and it should start spinning there in a couple of seconds. And that is how to repair a Zanussi Lindo 300 washing machine with a E40 error code. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if the video was helpful, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and maybe give the video a like. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Best luck with your repair. Please subscribe. Thank you.